this young man, this young couple, was sitting about the middle of the road, uh, right about right where you were sitting. And uh, it was right in your church. And we started the, the, the first day of the healing explosion. And the first, the first miracle that, you know, the Lord says is going to heal somebody with a heart. You know, a word of knowledge came, somebody with a heart problem. It says, wherever you are, you come. And, and, and so, so here comes with the, with the cane and just kind of walk slowly. And the Lord says, tell him that uh, I'm going to operate on him. It's, I, I felt like the, me and a few guys, I, I got a few young people to come and pray. And I, I felt like we were lowering it through the roof. The same thing, like we were the friends that brought you. And I says, relax. The Lord says, just relax because we're going to operate on you. And uh, God's going to operate on you, excuse me. And, uh, and so you just chill, relax, because God's going to do it. He's going to operate. Because for how many years, Nick? You had the 24 years. 24 years of, of a severe heart, heart problem. I was terminal. Terminal. <laughs> Two, open hearts need a third. Uh, huh? Two open hearts need a third, and they considered him terminal. Terminal. Okay. So, hallelujah, terminal. <laughs> we like those because God heals the terminals. That's the first miracle. And he was in excruciating pain. Did you say he had two or three kinds of drugs, one of which was? No. 13 nitroglycerins. And dilated. Tell you three. Take three nitros and call 911. So I'd at, taken 13. Yeah. And the pain was not stopping. Nitroglycerin. That's a heavy duty drug for heart situation. It, that's it, that's explosive. It's like. It's, <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised your heart didn't explode. It's like, isn't it? Is this a little thing? Just a serious deal. I'd also taken a dilated, which is a morphine derivative. And that didn't touch the pain. Mm -hmm. I'd taken a second dilated. It still didn't touch the pain. My wife told me that I was as white as the jacket that, she's wearing. Mm -hmm. Yes, he was pale, no yeah, white. No color. No color. And I said to and him, then, three times, you want to go? And he said, no. Three times, she says, okay, ready to go? No. And then you scared the heck out of my wife. <laughs> He's <laughs> pounding on his chest, pounding. He started hitting me right here. And she thought for sure, he's a goner. He's going to give him a heart attack right on the spot here. <laughs> Sounds like Smith Wiggles' story. He used to beat him. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> boom. <laughs> I didn't realize that was what, what it was. But anyways, so I said, God's going to operate on you. And so several of the young people were there like uh, releasing joy. I says, these are the joy nurses here. They're going to give you laughing gas at first. So you, could, you don't feel the operation. You know? So it's like, and so the, the young people just full of the joy of the Lord and begin to pray. And whoo, before you know it, I saw this right here. I saw him begin to move like, and I go, he's getting the joy. Before you know, and we go, yes, John. Before you know it, he's kind of chuckling. Remember the color? He went from gray, and you saw the pink come up. It was incredible. From gray to pink. So you were crying. He was laughing. <laughs> and I go, yes. We've, and seen, we've seen four doctors. We weren't going to go back and waste our money on co-pays, but we decided, what a testimony. So he's been to four doctors. He's have a, has had an x-ray of his heart. He, he's had congestive heart failure. His heart was huge. His heart is normal. We have that documented. The e EKG is normal. He's not had a normal EKG in, I'm going to say, 16 years. To, well, yeah, it was a long time. And um, the doctor we saw last week said, Nick, if, if you're like this in a year, we're going to have to do a paper on you. But the most... And then he say, like, if I didn't know you, I wouldn't. Oh, no, that was Dr. Doom. Oh, another. <laughs> That's the doctor that gave me six months to six live. Six months. Uh, that was six years, seven months ago. He gave him six months to live. But the most f wonderful story with that is a month ago, I was in the hospital with a blood clot. I don't have any history of blood clots. But the little girl in the bed next to me, I said, hey, over there, I'm your roommate. My name is Sandy. And so she came over, 25 years old, Paige, with dialysis three times a week, didn't know the Lord. We both got out a week later on that Sunday, the very next Sunday, she came to church and accepted Jesus. Yeah. So 
I, I know that's why I was in that bed next and, to her. And we're also believing that Paige is going to get two new kidneys yeah, from yeah. Dr. Jesus. Yeah. Now, she's, she's operating on one, and it's diseased. Yeah. She, has a, a, she has a disease that, yeah. uh, that eat, attacks the kidneys. Yeah, and she's already and, got a new one, and, and the disease ate the new one. So, so at 25, she's yeah. not eligible. But, um, yeah, it's been what five months, story. two weeks, and it's awesome. Five months and two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Pain free, Pain all gone. And I, I heard you say the doctor says it, there's nothing wrong with your heart. No. Nope. No. No. no when I, I went back to the doctor when my heart had started to hurt a little bit. It was pounding and it woke me up. I went to the emergency room to get checked and they did an x ray of my heart. I was supposed to have congestive heart failure, which meant I had an enormous heart. My heart was normal size. But I, I, I love that smile. Look at that. He's and, been doing great things. That, that Thanksgiving was the first Thanksgiving I got to wrestle with my grandkids. Yeah. Come on, come on. Come on. Ho! Dr. Doom, Dr. Doom, who, when I went in the hospital a month ago, we hadn't seen him for a long time. We don't like him. He's the one who had hospice at our house, and yeah, he just, Dr. Dr. Doom, Doom, yeah. yeah. So it. he came in, <laughs> and guess who I have when I go in a month ago? I have Dr. Doom. He came in the room every day, looked at the Guillermo name, and said, if I didn't know this was you, I wouldn't know this was you. He was absolutely blown away, and I said, you know, Dr. Beck's taken him off his heart meds. He goes, I know Dr. Beck has already told me. He is absolutely every day for the whole week. He said the same thing. Come on. Come on. And Nick, uh, I, the thing I also like is that you were, uh, he was a minister of, of the gospel with a, with a certain uh, denomination who we will not mention uh, because well, we're just going to move on. But, but he, God is restoring his ministry. Because he's a minister of the gospel and a healing anointing is on both of them to heal the sick and save the lost. And so we praise the Lord for you guys, Sandy and Nick. We just praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.